Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we're putting together a series of short hikes to some beautiful waterfalls, including the Holmes Chapel Falls, and the Caney Creek Falls, and probably the Clinlock Falls in the Bankhead National Forest of North Alabama. And today, I'm hiking with some friends. <laughs> In this video, I'm taking you on a tour of three beautiful waterfalls in the Bankhead National Forest of Northwest Alabama. The selected waterfalls are all easy to access with short to very short, though sometimes steep trails. We will be visiting Holmes Chapel Falls, the Caney Creek Falls, and Clinlock Falls. The first waterfall we're going to visit will be the Holmes Chapel Falls. Here we are at the uh, trailhead for the Holmes Creek Falls Trail. Um, it's one of two possible trailheads. This is the short four-wheel drive path, um, but uh, there's down the road a little bit. You can also, I think, park at a bridge and walk up along the creek. Um, but we're just going to uh, do the short trail today since we're going to get multiple, multiple waterfalls in today. Nice All right, here we are at the falls already. Very short trail. <laughs> Not really a trail so much as a uh, stroll through the woods. So uh, here we are, the, the uh, little four-wheel drive trail we were going down comes out at the top of the falls. Very cool. Here the, uh, the water goes over the edge. Watch your step, do not slip and fall. Very cool. All right, we are looking for the trail to the bottom. So uh, let's see if we can find our way. Oh, there's a steep downhill. Better put my camera away. Let's listen. That is very pretty.
So just like when we were at Sogahogby Falls, the ceiling of this rock overhang is full of petrified wood and tree implants, imprints like that one right there in front of me, right above me. See the tree? Pretty darn cool, huh? And this is a different approach to come up to uh, Holmes Chapel Falls. Ooh, here comes a pretty butterfly. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah. They fly so radically. Oh, spring has come to Alabama. Last time I was out hiking, it was still winter. <laughs> All right, we are back on top of the falls. Found a little toad along the trail. There he is. <laughs> Some very pretty little purple flowers growing along the trail today. This is the bridge crossing the Holmes Creek, and you could park here and hike up the uh, creek instead of parking where we did. Uh, it's probably a more interesting way to get to the falls. Next up is the Caney Creek Falls, about an 18 and a half mile drive away. The trailhead location for the Caney Creek Falls has moved. The landowner of the original trailhead no longer wants people to cross their property. Luckily, a neighbor has volunteered to open up their property to hikers so they can cross to the National Forest. The pin on the map shows the location of the new trailhead. The very friendly property owner is often there and will chat with you if you're willing. The actual trail to Caney Creek Falls starts at the new trailhead and is clearly marked with a large number of orange tape flags. The trail descends steeply down across a small valley and then back up again before intersecting with the original trail right before you descend down to the waterfall itself. You can hang out the, at the falls like we did and then just head back. Or you can explore a short distance upstream above the falls where there is a nice but small campsite. We then return the way we came back to the new trailhead. Round trip, the new trail is about one and a half miles with several steep but short ups and downs. Watch out. Yes, watch, watch for the cow patties. But uh, so on the new trail to uh, Caney Creek, you follow these little orange flags. Um, the uh, landowner here is granted permission for, uh, for people to uh, hike along the path where the orange flags are. That rock's a little bad. Anyone need a pole? <laughs> All right, uh, that one's wobbly, so watch out. Yeah. Yeah, the log moves. Here you are. The first rock is fine, but a little wet. The second rock moves a little, so. Well, these shoes are supposedly waterproof up to a certain level. Sure. Yeah, that's good. Got your water bottle? Yeah, yeah. All right. Still following the orange tape flags. We followed one of the old trails for a little bit, then started up over the uh, this little ridge. And then I think we actually intersect what I was thinking was the old trail back there, but that wasn't. That's still in front of us. Whew. The guy who built this trail was not afraid of climbing some hills. This is the, uh, the way that we used to come into Caney Creek Falls um, before the uh, landowner who owns the uh, parking, the trailhead, decided to shut that down. So uh, it's a little uh, harder going the uh, new route. <laughs> There's some up and down, but uh, I'm very thankful that the, uh, the, the new route, uh, landowner for the new route uh, trailhead has opened it up to people. That was very nice of him. 
All right, now I think it's pretty much all downhill to the uh, to the falls. All right, we are almost to the falls. I can really hear them. It's quite steep here at this last descent down to the canyon. We got to find the uh, the entrance. I think it's right in front of me though. If you go to the left over here, you can go to the top of the falls, and we may check that out. But uh, I think first we are going to go down to the bottom. Yeah, I think it's here. Falls. Easily one of my favorite waterfalls. Used to be a family favorite 20 years ago when my boys were little. The stream here is so smooth. You'd never know that there's you know a really big waterfall right back there. <laughs> That's the fall, top of Caney Creek Falls right there. And it's very cool that there's actually two streams that run into the same basin here. You see the one across the way over there. A completely different stream of water. Whew. Well, as you can tell by my breathing, we have climbed uphill. <laughs> but here are the orange flags where we leave the old trail, which now goes to the wrong trailhead. And we head out following the orange flags. Almost back to the trailhead, coming up on the farm. And uh, 
where uh, where the new trailhead is. Whew, that is quite a climb there. <laughs> and now it's pretty easy now that we're on top of the uh, ridge. So uh, you can hear the roosters. And there's a couple dogs, but they're in pens. They have a beautiful set of pastures here. Very nice. After Caney Creek Falls, we made one last eight and a half mile road trip over to Clinlock Falls. Whenever I'm in this area, I always need to stop in at Clinlock Falls. The cascades of water are never disappointing there. Here we are at the trailhead for Clinlock Falls. Clinlock Falls is an amazing waterfall that is literally right off the road and the trail just kind of tumbles down to the waterfall. It is super steep. This is a trail made by people who uh, just wanted to get to the waterfall, darn it. So uh, be prepared for it being super steep, but otherwise it's not hard and it's certainly not long. You can see the water running down there already, but uh, it's a spectacular waterfall when we get there. Some beautiful little purple flowers here where the water's dripping. Very nice. There it is! Windlock Falls! Is that impressive or what? <laughs> More of a cascade than a falls, and uh, indeed, a lot of brave souls will ride an inner tube down it. And uh, in the summer, when the water's not quite so uh, running so hard, they just sometimes slide down it on the bottoms. There's quite a bit of water in the pool today. Sometimes, when the water's not so high, you can uh, go down here and hike up along the bottom, but uh, it's pretty full of water today. Looks like you could go swimming. You could. And that was Clinlock Falls, and that's going to have to do it for today. It's time to get back home. Talk to you later. And those are the three waterfalls we visited in the Bankhead National Forest on this lovely, sunny Sunday afternoon.